The bill before us will renew the import ban on products of Burma. While there can be concerns about the universal effectiveness of unilateral sanctions, Burma clearly pre presents a unique situation. There is overwhelming evidence that Burma continues to blatantly disregard human rights and suppress democracy, and it is therefore important to continue the import ban for another year. Under the military regime that rules Burma today, Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi remains under house arrest, which the military regime extended yet again in May. She has been, been detained for 12 of the last 18 years without being charged or tried. The government is also detaining almost 2,000 other civic activists indefinitely and without charge. The detention of Aung San Suu Kyi and these other activists would be reason enough to renew the sanctions. Unfortunately, there are many more examples of human rights abuses in Burma. Government security forces killed and injured hundreds of demonstrators during their suppression of pro-democracy protests in September. These forces have also committed other extrajudicial killings as well as disappearances, rape, torture in the past year. Regime support organizations and militias have harassed, abused, and detained human rights and pro-democracy activists. The government regularly tramples on the Burmese people's privacy and their freedom of speech, press, assembly, association, religion, and movement. Violence and discrimination against women and ethnic minorities, recruitment of child soldiers, and trafficking in persons, especially women and girls, persist. Worker rights remain restricted and forced labor, including that of children, continues to be a problem. The military regime's handling of tropical cyclone Nargis this past spring also underscores the poor human rights situation in Burma. The regime did little to warn citizens about the calamitous cyclone. Almost 150,000 people are dead or missing. Nor did the regime provide adequate assistance to hundreds of thousands who survived the cyclone. While dozens of nations, including our nation, responded immediately to the cyclone and attempted to, prov to provide humanitarian assistance, the government initially denied them permission to enter the country. It continues to severely limit their ability to provide assistance. As a result, the Burmese people unnecessarily suffer. In light of Burma's continuing dismal record and the lack of any concrete steps to provide basic human rights to its citizens or to implement basic de democratic reforms, I urge my colleagues to extend the ban on the import of Burmese products for another year. And I also hope the European Union ASEAN and other nations around the world will continue to work with the U.S. to increase pressure on the Burmese regime. This week's ASEAN meetings in Singapore offer the opportunity to do so. I would also